The Lions are favored for the first time since November of 2020. Nuno, that's what's going to happen this weekend in the NFL for the first time in a year and a half, regardless of the outcome of the game. The Lions are going to be a favorite. They've been underdogs in 24 straight games. Think about that a minute. The Detroit Lions have been an underdog in 24 straight games. They're currently two-and-a-half-point favorites against Washington. The last time they were favored to win was November 22nd of 2020 when they were a one-point favorite on the road against the Panthers. Parenthetically, they lost that game 20 to nothing. <laughs> what do we think of the Lions? I, that was a, a damaging loss or a disappointing loss they had to Carolina the other day because that game went exactly the way no, no, Carolina lost to Cleveland, excuse me. Who did they? Oh, to Philadelphia. They lost to the Eagles, yep. They lost exactly the same way they lost all year last year, right? Fought like crazy. Oh, my God, they're so close. Oh, my God, they're going to win. Oh, my God, they lose by four. Like, that was the Lions' entire season. And most of us who were forecasting better things for them figured the one thing they will get over the offseason is figuring out how to close these games. And they couldn't do it. Now, that may, loss may, by the end of the year, look pretty good because the Eagles might be a really good team. But I felt bad for the Lions. I really like them. I like their coach. I like what's going on there. I'd like to see them win a few games. Why are you shaking your head like that, Nuno? You don't like them, and you don't like well, him. Well, no, I think – so I was rooting for the Lions to win, obviously because they were playing the Eagles, right? right. And they, they jump out to a quick lead, and they look good in that first drive. But there's two things. One is that for a team that you know wants to bite your kneecaps and all that other mm -hmm. stuff that Dan Campbell says, they got – punched in the mouth constantly when they needed to make a stop. The Eagles rushed for over 210 yards uh, that game. Um, and then two, and I think the most important thing and why I think people, I don't buy in the lines, and I think some people, Jerry Goff is still their quarterback. Right. So like, I well, think they're that's the biggest from, issue. from yeah. being contenders. I'm not saying that. But just to have a markedly, look, this is a team that hasn't been favored in a game in 24 games. It's a season and a half. So, Pretty good accomplishment. Uh, it, it, I'll I mean, take it. It, it's 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 quite the thing. So my point is, it Dan is a Campbell's step forward. back, baby. I, I th and look, the that Eagles offensive line is going to make a lot of defenses look like that. They're going to run the ball this year. The Eagles are going to be a very tough team to beat because of the way they play. The way they play and they're good at it makes them very tough to beat. No one blows them out. Like, the, the, the way you blow a team out is if they're throwing it and the quarterback throws a bunch of picks. And I'm not saying Jalen Hurts is not is above that. I'm saying they're not going to play that way. So, I think the Eagles are going to be a very tough team to beat this year. Uh, there's also, a quick, real quick, a chance that uh, looking at Caesars right now, that spread is down a one and a half. So, there's that chance, you know. Does it move that much? Yeah, it's, it's, moved, uh, it's moved down to one and a half at this point. But, I mean, could it move another two points to well, where they're not a favorite? And if you're, if you're the commanders, right, like you are coming off a win – it's like you're the team that all of a sudden that the that the Lions are favored against. Like that must make you feel uh, warm and fuzzy inside. Well, we'll see. Look, go ahead and prove it. Like I'm, I'm I'm not interested in hearing how hurt the feelings are of the Washington Commanders. Go out and prove it. They won a nice game last week. Good for them. Wentz was very Wentzian. He had some just hideously awful moments, but found a way to win. Good for them. Let's see what winds up happening there. Um, I think that's a that's a reason I mean, for a game between two teams that if you're not a particular fan of either one might otherwise have sounded very uninteresting, I think it's actually a pretty interesting game. With the, with the DAC injury, suddenly the NFC East feels a little more in play, right? So if the Eagles become the team to beat, and if the Cowboys really do fall off the face of the earth, which I don't, by the way, think they have to, but if they do, then the question, Nuno, is who is it that makes it interesting with Philly this year? Is it your Giants or is it Washington? I think it's Washington. Because I think the Giants still have ways to go. Um, and for the Giants, it's like just beat the, you know, if you want to start people buying in, like win against Carolina at home. You have the Cowboys Monday night at home. Like win those games. Maybe people will start feeling like there's something that you can compete for a wild card spot. But I think at the end of the day, it has to be the commanders based upon the fact that Carson wins and what you have on that defense. You have a lot of offensive weapons. Those wide receivers are really good. Um, so I think they would have to be that team. All right, we'll see. It, 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 someone's going to have to make that division interesting. Someone invariably does. We'll see which team it winds up being. All right, before we finish for the day. 
Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.